What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the 2020 Platinum jacked up. All four wheels are off the truck. We have it on um, six ton jack stands in the front and back with the jacks still in place as well, just to make sure the truck is nice and safe. The reason being is we're gonna be applying the Duracoat tire dressing today. Um, you can do this with the tires on the truck. That's actually what I did the first time I used this on my stock tires, but I just felt like it would be easier to do with them off the truck Again, you can easily do it with them on the truck as well, but when I did that the first time, I just felt like I couldn't get that bottom edge of the tire that's on the pavement. I just felt like I couldn't get that good enough, so that's why we have the tires off today. I have them leaning up, the out, uh, leaning up on the outside of the garage. I'll take you out there and show you them in a minute. So this dressing is awesome. I did it on my stock tires, as I mentioned, and this will give you your, give your tires that wet black look and it lasts for at least two to four months, if not longer, if you apply it correctly. This is not like a spray where you have to do it every few days or you know, sometimes even more often than that, which is why it's so attractive. It's not that expensive. Um, so in my opinion, well worth it. But again, the application is the key. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. Just like any kind of project like this, the prep is the most important part. So when you get the kit from Duracoat, um, Duracoating, they give you this Dura Cleaner, it's called. This stuff is strong. Um, I'm gonna wear a mask when we're cleaning the tires, just so you guys know. If you wanna wear one, I would recommend it. Don't necessarily have to, I guess, but I would recommend it, because this stuff is strong. Um, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna, I'll show you here in a second, but you're basically just gonna clean the tires with this um, Dura Cleaner until they are spotless. That is the most important step, just like any coating that you're gonna apply to anything. So let's head outside. I'll show you what we have to do to clean the tires. Um, they do send you this brush as well in the kit, um, nice, uh, firm bristled brush um, that cleans the tires really well so let's head out we'll get the tires cleaned and then I'll show you how we uh, apply the coating itself all right guys so to clean the tires properly before we do the dressing again you're gonna use this dirt cleaner and basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna spray some on the brush and then we're also gonna spray you want to get the bottle very close you don't really want to miss this on you'd never want it to dry on your on your rims your wheels um, that's a it tells you right in the instructions that's never good <laughs> so as you're gonna see I have the hose ready to go to get this rinsed off and the key is you're going to use this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do one tire at a time until all four are done. And then you're probably going to have to do it at least two or three times because as you're going to see when you do it and you're scrubbing this cleaner into the tire, you're going to, the, the foam and the, the, the soap for lack of the cleaner, I guess I should say, is going to turn like a tannish brown. That's all that dirt coming off the tire. You want to clean your tires until that is no longer tan or brown. You want that to be white. And that tells you that the tire is properly cleaned. There's no dirt left on the surface. And then you're ready to apply the coating. So again, as you're going to see, I'm just going to miss some on the brush. I'm going to start here. Actually, I'm going to start. These are 35s, obviously some big tires. So I'm actually going to do half. I'm going to do the bottom half and then rinse it. And then the top half and rinse it. So just, again, get the nozzle close to the tire and start scrubbing. Now this is, I did one let me get my actually you know i'm not even going to wear the mask to be honest because as long as you as long as you keep the, the sprayer close to the tire when you're spraying it it doesn't really mist and again you don't want to mist it on the tire anyway they do tell you that so just spray a little bit as you go and i don't know how well it's showing up in the video but it still has um a like a tannish brown color to it the first time I did it, it was literally like brown, <laughs> brown as can be. So you just wanna scrub it, work your way around. Don't be afraid to use plenty of the cleaner. And again, we're only gonna do the bottom half first. And you can see what I mean, why I took them off the truck. Um, because if it was on the truck, you wouldn't be able to get down underneath here. So that's why I decided to take the tires off and do it this way this time. All right, so you can actually see that's turning more brown. Hopefully you can see in the video, but that's actually turning more brown as it's on there working to get the dirt off. So we did the bottom half. Just going to take my hose and rinse it off. And again, the reason I'm only doing the bottom half is because it's such a big tire you don't want this to dry on there so 
instead of letting that bottom half kind of dry while I do the top half. That's why we're only doing half a tire at a time. And again, make sure you rinse your wheels off really well. You don't want that stuff sitting on your wheels. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And uh, I'm not gonna obviously show up the whole, this whole process on camera. That's exactly what you're gonna do until those suds are white. And I will show you that at the end when I'm done cleaning, I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish get, getting them all um, cleaned and prepped, and then we'll get on to the coating. All right, guys, not gonna lie to you. This is a pain in the butt. <laughs> um, I had to, I'm gonna show you, this is the last round of cleaning that I'm gonna do on the tires. So I'll show you, this is actually the fifth round of cleaning for the tires, just so you know. Um, if you're gonna do this, do yourself a favor. If you're getting new tires by any chance, do it before you actually even use the tires. <laughs> That's what I should have done, like I was going to, um, but I've had these tires on the truck for a few months now, and uh, they're pretty dirty. <laughs> Again, this is my fifth round of cleaning them. As you'll see now, the soap or the, the cleaner, as we're gonna start scrubbing here, it's gonna be white instead of any kind of tan or brown. That's what you're looking for. And just so you know too, I did actually start wearing my mask. Um, after the, I noticed after the first tire or two, even though you're spraying really close to the tire, if you're doing this outside and it's windy, I was kind of getting a little hint of the smell. So I did put my mask on and I've been using it all along. Um, just a little tip there, but again fifth round. So let me show you what it should look like now this the last round I did it was basically white just a just a tiny tint of tan left So this one should be completely white. So let me go ahead and show you um, And just so you know with these kind of with these kind of tires these 35 these all terrains These are a pain to clean you have to make sure you're going up and down side to side I'm actually doing some circle motions as well um, So they're just a, a pain to clean. I'm not gonna lie to you very time consuming, not hard, but very time consuming. So let me show you what this should look like now. We're gonna go ahead and spray it. And this last time, I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole tire all the way around. As you can see, this, the, the cleaner is now basically completely white. All right, and that's what you want to do. So you want to clean your tires until this is what you see. Again, making sure you're getting in all these grooves up and down, side to side. And I usually finish with a circuit, circular motion just to make sure you're getting in all them grooves. All right, so you can even look at the brush if you want to um, as you're cleaning the suds on the brush will even be um, you know the color that you're looking for so this is again very time consuming but the most important part of the entire process for obvious reasons you want this coating to stick and i'm doing the whole tire this time around just because i'm going a little faster it's the last time suds are basically white all right, so let me finish up here. We'll rinse it off real good. We're gonna take them inside and we'll get the coating on there. All right, guys, here we are the next day. I was running really low on daylight yesterday, so I brought the tires in after getting them cleaned up and the lighting in my garage at nighttime isn't the best. I gotta upgrade my lighting in here. But anyway, um, I wanted to show you real quick. I did put one coat on last night. Again, I didn't show you the first coat only because the lighting wasn't the best. I wanted you to be able to see this pretty good. But as you can see, just after one coat, you know, they're shining pretty good. I will tell you, and I'm going to show you, you can see the difference between the area that's not coated and then obviously the area that is. And again, that's just one coat. I'm going to, sh I'm going to set the camera up here and I'll show you what I did. I'm not going to lie to you. These tires, because of all the crevices and the, um, you know, the little cracks and everything, these um, all-terrain tires are not the easiest to do. So I'll show you what I did in order to get into all those little cracks. You do want to kind of take your time and work your way all the way around the tire, um, obviously, you know, just to make sure it's totally coated. So let me get the camera set up, and uh, we'll go ahead and put the second coat on, and I'll show you what I did. Okay, a couple things before I actually show you the coating. 
Um, first thing is, this is the obvious, and uh, I just want to throw it out there. You want, after you do the cleaning process, obviously make sure the tire is 100% dry if you want to. Um, I use my leaf blower just to kind of make sure all of the water was blown out of the little crevices and everything. And again, just make sure it's 100% dry before you actually do put that first coat on. Um, the other thing is I do still have the tires off the ground. I have the truck on jack stands right now. I was gonna leave the tires off the truck to do the coating, but I honestly wasn't really comfortable just leaving the truck on my stands and everything overnight. I know it's probably silly, it's more than safe. There's six ton jack stands that I had it on. <laughs> um, but again, I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel comfortable. So anyway, I did put the tires back on the truck, but they are off the ground still, which will allow me to get down on that bottom part much easier. The last thing before I show you the coating, this is the sponge that came with the kit. After doing the first round of coating on all four tires, as you can see, that sponge got beat up a little bit. And again, it's from trying to kind of work in all those crevices. So I ran to my local Walmart and picked up, these were only like two bucks um, at my local Walmart. I actually got four new ones. I'm just gonna use one per tire. Um, I got two of the two packs. So, all right, so let's get into the coating and I'll show you what we have to do here. Okay, make sure you have a damp rag with you, just in case you do get any on your wheels. You wanna wipe that off right away. Never let it dry onto the wheels. So take your bottle of coating, shake it up real well. And you wanna to try to make sure the temperature is, and I believe they say a minimum of 55 degrees. I kept my garage at 60 all night just to keep the tires. It got a little chilly here last night. It's fall time here in Northeast PA. So it did get a little chilly. I kept the garage closed up and the heat on at about 60 just to keep the tires at temp. And right now it's about 61 degrees out. So I do have the doors open back up just to let it air out. But shake it up real good. Pop the cap off. And what I'm gonna do, just kind of pick a section. Again, with these bigger tires, it's a little bit more difficult. When I did my stock tires, it was much easier. But all I'm gonna do is just put a couple dabs on the foam pad and then just kind of start slowly working your way around i'm going to do this section here first and just start spreading it and i pick a section just to work one section at a time so i'm just going to do that small section there and again this is the the pain in the butt part getting into all of these little crevices so that's where you use the edge of the sponge and that's why that sponge that they sent with my kit got chewed up from working it into all these little crevices here but if you have tires like this un unfortunately you don't have uh, much of an option so you're just gonna take your time work one little section at a time spread it around don't want to put too much product on the pad because then it'll start running on you but this is all there is to it guys a little time consuming but this is it so i'm not going to show you the entire tire because again it is a little time consuming just to save time on the video i'll show you the finished product here coming up i'm going to go ahead and get the uh the second coat on all of the tires and i'll show you what it looks like when it's all done Okay, the other thing you want to do, one of the other things you want to do, once you, I still have to do the outer part of the tire, but I have this, basically the middle section done here, the middle and lower section. You want to take your applicator, and um, the final thing you want to do is just kind of take it and just make a complete circle all the way around. And what that does is just kind of smooth the dressing out as much as possible. Obviously, you can't really do it in those crevices, but on the flatter parts, that's what you want to do just to kind of smooth that out a little bit better. The other thing is, if you do have a leaf blower or anything like that, or just keep an extra like a foam pad handy, um, if you do see the dressing pooling anywhere, especially in these crevices, take your leaf blower and use it to just kind of blow the, blow the uh, extra dressing out of there. You never want the dressing to pool. All right, um, so the leaf blower, if you have one, definitely comes in handy for that. If you see it pulling anywhere, turn the leaf blower on and it'll just kind of blow it right out of there. 
Um, last thing, last little tip I'll give you, make sure you're shaking your bottle every every couple minutes. Um, you know, as I'm going every couple sections, I'll stop, put the cap back on, shake it up again. And uh, that's really all there is to it. So a little time consuming, but not a hard process at all. Just follow those few tips and you'll be good to go. I'm going to get these finished up and we'll give you a look at the finished product. All right, guys, we got the second coat on all four tires, and I am blown away by the results. I'm really hoping this is showing up on the GoPro for you. Um, I will put some pictures up on the screen just in case it's not showing up that well, but that second coat, I really feel like that just made it pop. You're going you're gonna to see, and you, you did see a noticeable difference after the first coat, but that second coating, man, it just really brought it alive. And, the, I mean, these tires look soaking wet, and, and they're dry to the touch. That's the best part about this coating. It's a no sling. It only takes, I believe, 30 to 60 minutes to dry, I think it says. It does take longer than that to, to fully cure. You're not supposed to get them wet for 12 to 24 hours. Um, and then the full cure, I believe, says 24 to 36 hours. You can drive it, of course. Just try not to get them wet for that first 12 to 24. I'm going to let the, sit, the truck sit in the garage um, till, until tomorrow just to make sure they are nice and dry. But once it does dry, dry to the touch and uh, no sling. You don't have to worry about it going all over the truck. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm more than pleased with the results. I've had this before on my stock tires. I know it does last if you do it properly. So let me just throw a couple tips out for you. Um, the most important step, as we mentioned, by far is that cleaning step. If you are not going to properly clean the tires, don't waste your time doing this. Um, it's just, it won't work. It, they're not going to look as good. It's not going to last as long. It won't stick as well. So cleaning the tires, by far the most important step. I can't stress that enough. As far as the application process, um, one thing I'll tell you, grab yourself a couple extra sponges, um, especially if you have these all-terrain tires because of the nubs. You can probably see on the ground here, these black spots all over the ground. I don't know if it's in frame or not, but it's pieces of the sponge. Um, again, those nubs were just eating the sponges up. So the four extra sponges that I grabbed from Walmart, I went through all four. I used one per tire and they're, they're chewed up after I'm done. So they're going in the garbage. Then the other tip I'll give you for the application process, make sure you have, or if you if you can have, a leaf blower handy. That did come in handy for sure on the second coating. I don't know why. I don't know if maybe just because there was already that first coating on there and it was already kind of slick. Um, the the second coating it did want the the coating wanted this wanted the pool a little bit more on me so I did use my leaf blower on all four tires as I was going just to get those little spots that were wanting to pool on me um, and then the third tip which is the obvious just make sure you take your time get in all the little grooves and everything and that by far is the most time consuming process this or part of the process this is not a hard job to do it's just time consuming especially if you have these bigger tires with all these little nooks and crannies and all that good stuff so um other than that pretty straightforward guys um make sure you have good lighting um i was using a big light behind me to kind of shine on it to make sure i got all the even the spots evenly so yeah um well worth it in my opinion you guys can decide for yourself Again, hopefully the pictures on the screen helped you to just to kind of see the difference. And I'm really hoping this shows up on, on the video as well. Um, but I personally think it's well worth it. It just makes the tires look soaking wet, but they're dry to the touch. And this stuff really lasts. Makes them easier to clean too. It's, it's almost... I don't want to compare it to a ceramic coating it's because that's not what it is but it's almost like a ceramic coating for your tires because they'll come clean much easier and again they just that shine will just last so um all right if you guys have any questions comments concerns leave them down below and appreciate you watching we'll see you on the next video take care